Hello, this is uh, a video of the stuff that I got from today's uh, pantry box, or today pantry boxes, because I got more than one uh, this time around. Um, got a lot of canned stuff, got some dry stuff. Got that uh, tea. rice oats actually we got two things of oats one comes in the cylinder you got a pack of port authority face masks two packs of uh egg noodles thing of raisins and a thing of instant mashed potato flakes got a couple cans of tuna got some uh pink salmon got uh, three cans of that. Got two cans of green peas. Got a couple of extra Gossner milks. Got um, a can of pork and beans. We got a bunch of... Um, got some meatless spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce. Got three cans of that. Got two cans of uh, black beans. Got two cans of uh, these diced pears. Got the vegetarian vegetable soup from Campbell's. And um, that's everything in box number one. I unboxed it all first so that I wouldn't have to just dig through and then find a place for it. It would be a bit slower. But that's box number one, and now I'm going to put this stuff away and then open box number two, take out all the goods, and um, show you what I got when I come back. Okay, everything's out of the way. I just moved it all the way over here to the other counter by the microwave. I'll figure out a permanent place for everything later. Here's box number two, and I will... Go ahead and cut the seal on that. Have a look inside. Looks like we got a bunch more masks. These are just like kind of generic ones. I'll, uh, I can, they're still usable, but just not something that I will probably, I'll put them away or give them away or something. Okay, so we've got um, decaffeinated Pike Place Roast coffee. That's pretty good. I mean, it's decaf, which kind of defeats the purpose of coffee for me anyway. Um, we've got... Uh, it looks like instant oatmeal. Individually packaged things can probably use those sketty o's and beef looks like we've got a couple cans of that the rest of this stuff I'll dig into I'll I'll, um, I'll, I'll unpack it and then go through it um, but I'll pause first and then jump cut back to it all right, and here we are having unboxed everything. We've got the, so we got that beef stew from Market Street Premium. I've had some chili from them when, and it wasn't bad, but it looked terrible, but it, it tasted pretty good. Um, or it tasted decent. It's probably better chilies out there. We got some raisins, another thing of, 
Another thing of ra yeah, another thing of raisins. We got some Hampton Farms creamy peanut butter, and I took a close look, and it doesn't look like there's that grody oil separation at the top where it requires stirring or whatever. So this looks this looks like it's good. So I'll definitely use it. Expiration date is uh, 2021. We can focus. Yeah, 2021. Got a box of mac and cheese, which I've got a ton of mac and cheese. So, like, we're good on that front. I got a bunch from the donation uh, table a while back. So, uh, more raisins, more peanut butter, or peanut butter. I actually don't have any peanut butter right now. Uh, this decaf coffee. I mean, I've got normal coffee, so I really don't need or prefer to have this, but maybe I'll use it. I'll do something with it. Today's lunches main courses were these uh, chicken and rice things, chicken and rice bowls. Got some cereal, raisins, super bear chocolate, bear graham cookie thingies, carrots, raisins, uh, or apple juice. We got some milk, but I've been I've been saving it. We got so we got lots of lots of stuff. Anywho, back to this. We've got the. Um, Sketios and beef. Brown sugar maple oatmeal. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. Some crackers, some dry snack cracker things. Some macaroni. Elbow macaroni. I've got that already. So we've got a ton. Yeah, more pork and beans, because we got pork and beans before. I like pork and beans. I've got plenty of them. There's just so much stuff. I, like, I don't have room for everything. But yeah, chicken noodle soup. Diced tomatoes. Um, I'm definitely not going to use diced tomatoes. I don't like them unless it's like just like flat out raw sliced tomato directly because diced tomatoes it's processed maybe cooked partially I, I just don't like it um we got some chicken chunk white chicken this that's good i always i always use that actually i think i've got some other uh chicken that i still need to use so the tuna, on the other hand, I will not use because I'm not really fond of tuna. But I'll maybe give it to my dad or something. My dad likes tuna, so I'll give. I'll probably. I'll probably give that to him. Now this is a weird thing. Um, lakeside beef with juices, and then um, let's see if we can focus in on this this beef is fully cooked in its own juices and is ready to use use cut up beef for salad sandwiches soups stews barbecue spaghetti sauce meat pies casseroles tacos or over egg noodles oh that's a um convenient that you gave me some egg noodles anyway probably yeah use them over any kind of noodles but use juices and fat from canned beef to flavor cooked vegetables soups or gravy and so yeah I guess this is just like beef um, anyway I don't know what exactly I'll be able to do with that I guess do what I would do like with hash or something 
corned beef hash or like other kinds of hash where it's like meat, potatoes, and and stuff. Um, got this chow co coconut milk. I'm not gonna use this. I'm definitely for sure not gonna use this. Mix 